In this example, we want to allow user to filter this report according to his will. And we want to make that uh, possible in the easiest possible way. For that, I will click somewhere in this list. I will go to filter button, edit filters. I will click on plus and we will show this separately for simple filter, combined filter and advanced filter. I will go on OK and I will select here some uh, year, for example, 2015, but I will go here to settings and I will turn on this option, prompt for values when report is run in viewer. I will enable this, I will click on OK and then on OK again and I will now run this report in Cognos viewer. And we will actually get a prompt. That prompt will be automatically created for us. We can see that this OK button is disabled. That means that this prompt is mandatory. So here I will type some here, for example, 2017. I will click on OK. And then we will see only years that are after 2017. Now I will go back and I will change two things. I will again go to filter button, edit filters. I will open this uh, filter and instead of using this uh, range uh, filter, I will use this individual filter. I will go here and I will select, for example, years 2015 and 2017. Our option prompt for values is uh, still enabled. I will click on OK and I will change here uh, this uh, option to optional. So our filter is now optional. I will click on OK and again I will run our report in Cognos Viewer and we will notice two changes. Uh, first change is that this uh, filter is not mandatory uh, anymore and the second is that the uh, shape of our uh, prompt is now different. Now we can select several individual values. For example, I can select 2015 and 2018. So when I click on OK, I will get only those two uh, years. I will uh, go uh, again uh, in Cognos Viewer, I will run uh, my report, I will uh, select all of these values and I will remove them and again because this uh, filter is optional I can still click on OK and this time I will get all of the years. We will go now back, I will now show you the same thing but by using combined filter, we go to edit filters, we will first disable this filter, then we will click on plus and we will select combine filter. I will click on OK. First we will set filter on year column. I will click on OK and I will type here for example year 2017 but I have to enable this option from four values. I will go on OK and then by using this plus I will add filter on month column. I will click on OK and I will select some month for example March. Again we have to enable this option prompt for values. I will click on OK and now here we have our filter. I will click on OK and then on OK again and when we start our uh, report in HTML format now uh, we would get actually two prompts. We would get a prompt for a year and a prompt for a month and here I will type for example 2016. I will select months February, March and April and when I click on OK I would get our result. And like previously, like with a simple filter, we can go to edit filters and we can change our filters. We can uh, change, for example, this range filter into individual filter and we can also uh, make our filter optional if we want to. And now uh, we will now do the same thing but with advanced filter. We go here to edit filters. Uh, we will first disable this uh, filter and we will click on plus to select advanced. We will click on OK and we will start with column year. We can say for example that column year should be 2016 but this is hard coded value and we want to create a parameterized filter so we will delete this and we will type parameter. How we create parameter? First we type two question marks and then between them we type a name for parameter for example param enter year. Then we can click here on validate and uh, Cognos will first show us a prompt because he cannot validate this expression without knowing what is the value of parameter. So we have to type something here, for example, 2016. So when we click on OK, our expression will be validated. We can also add another filter, for example, and month should be equal to another parameter. 
I will use Arab enter month. I will again validate it. And again, I will get the prompt. I have to select, for example, May. I will click on OK. And then I will click on OK. I will now start uh, my report in HTML. And we would get two uh, prompts. One for year. For example, here I can type 2017. And one for month. For example, September. And when I click on OK, I will get my result. Now we will go again uh, to our edit filters dialog. We will open this advanced filter and instead of using equal sign, we will use in operator. And this means that uh, we have to provide several values if we want to. And then I will click on OK. I will change this uh, filter to be optional. I will click on OK. And I will run this report. Now our uh, prompts will be different. So we can select several values, for example, 2018. We can select several months. We can click on OK and we would got our result. Now I want to show you one more thing. Uh, we have now uh, values of our uh, prompt remembered. Now where are their uh, values uh, shown so we can check what are current values of our prompt, of our parameters. And for that, we go here to parameters. And in this tab, all parameters, we can see that now a uh, current value that is selected is 2016 and uh, May. And here we will only see the values that are uh, entered inside of edit mode. So not inside of Cognos Viewer, but everything that we uh, select inside of edit mode uh, will be presented here in this uh, dialog. And we can clear our values by clicking here on uh, clear parameter values. So when I click here, these values will disappear. They disappear, so there are no more those values. And we can also go here to three dots, and here we have option clear parameter values, and that is the same uh, button.